Dr. Rhonda Patrick highlights the often overlooked but critical role of vitamin D in long-term brain health and disease prevention. Despite its importance, a staggering 70% of the U.S. population has insufficient vitamin D levels, largely due to modern indoor lifestyles, sunscreen use, skin pigmentation, and geographic location. Vitamin D is more than just a vitamin. It functions as a steroid hormone that regulates over 5% of the human genome, influencing gene expression related to immune function, brain health, and cellular repair. One of the most striking revelations Dr. Patrick shares is the link between vitamin D deficiency and an 80% increased risk of dementia. Supplementation with vitamin D3 has been shown to reduce dementia risk by 40% and even improve cognition in individuals already diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease. Beyond brain health, vitamin D insufficiency is associated with increased cancer risk and all-cause mortality. Optimal blood levels of vitamin D generally between 40 to 80 nanograms per milliliter, are crucial for reducing these risks, and supplementation of around 4,000 IU daily is often necessary to achieve sufficiency, especially in populations with limited sun exposure. Dr. Patrick discusses the profound impact of omega-3 fatty acids on longevity and mortality, revealing that a low omega-3 index is as detrimental to health as smoking. Omega-3s, particularly EPA and DHA found in marine sources like salmon, play a vital role in reducing inflammation, supporting cardiovascular health, and improving mental well-being. The average omega-3 index in the U.S. is about 5%, whereas an index of 8% or higher is associated with a five-year increase in life expectancy. The podcast delves into a revealing study from Harvard that places insufficient omega-3 intake among the top six preventable causes of death, comparable to hypertension and smoking. Intriguingly, smokers with a high omega-3 index have similar mortality risks to non-smokers with a low omega-3 index, underscoring the protective power of these fatty acids. Dr. Patrick emphasizes that supplementation with one to two grams of fish oil daily or increased consumption of fatty fish can effectively raise the omega-3 index, offering a simple yet powerful intervention to improve health span and reduce disease risk. Exercise emerges as a cornerstone of healthy aging, particularly for brain health. Dr. Patrick explains that the hippocampus, a brain region critical for learning and memory, naturally shrinks by 1 to 2% annually, starting around age 50. However, aerobic exercise can not only halt this shrinkage, but actually increase hippocampal volume by 1 to 2%, effectively reversing age-related brain atrophy. The discussion highlights a study where older adults engaged in moderate to vigorous aerobic exercise three times a week for a year, resulting in significant growth of the hippocampus compared to a control group that experienced typical shrinkage. This neurogenesis is driven by increased levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, BDNF, a protein that promotes neuron growth and connectivity. Dr. Patrick stresses that it's never too late to start exercising as even individuals in their 60s can experience these remarkable brain benefits, underscoring exercise as a powerful, accessible tool to stave off cognitive decline and dementia. Dr. Patrick advocates for vigorous intensity exercise, particularly high-intensity interval training, A, as the most effective way to improve cardiorespiratory fitness, a key predictor of longevity. She explains that cardiorespiratory fitness, measured by VO2 max, declines with age and sedentary behavior, but can be significantly improved through protocols like the Norwegian 4x4, which involves four intervals of four minutes of intense exercise, followed by four minutes of recovery. The physiological benefits of HIT extend beyond cardiovascular improvements. During intense exercise, the body produces lactate, once thought to be merely a waste product, but now recognized as a signaling molecule that fuels the brain and activates BDNF. This lactate enhances cognition, mood, and neuroplasticity, making vigorous exercise uniquely beneficial for brain function. Dr. Patrick recommends even a minimum of one HIIT session per week to gain these benefits, emphasizing that moderate exercise alone may not reliably improve cardiorespiratory fitness for many people. Creatine, traditionally associated with muscle growth and athletic performance, is revealed by Dr. Patrick as a potent cognitive enhancer, especially under stress conditions like sleep deprivation or high mental load. 
While the body produces creatine naturally, supplementation, particularly at doses of 10 grams or more daily, can increase brain creatine levels, supporting energy metabolism in neurons. Studies show that creatine supplementation can negate cognitive deficits caused by 21 hours of sleep deprivation, even improving function beyond well-rested levels. Additionally, creatine has demonstrated antidepressant effects when combined with cognitive behavioral therapy and shows promise in improving cognition in early Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Patrick also notes that vegetarians and vegans who consume little dietary creatine may benefit significantly from supplementation. She dispels myths about creatine causing hair loss or excessive water retention, emphasizing its safety and broad benefits for brain and muscle health. The ketogenic diet, characterized by low carbohydrate and high fat intake, induces a metabolic state called ketosis, where the body primarily burns fat and produces ketone bodies like beta-hydroxybutyrate, BHB. Dr. Patrick explains that BHB serves as an efficient alternative fuel for the brain, requiring less energy to generate ATP compared to glucose, and also acts as a signaling molecule that activates BDNF, promoting neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. Research in rodents suggests ketogenic diets can extend lifespan and improve brain health by reducing pathological features of Alzheimer's disease. BHB also shunts glucose into pathways that produce glutathione, a major brain antioxidant, thereby reducing oxidative stress and inflammation, key drivers of brain aging. While ketogenic diets can be challenging to maintain, exogenous ketone supplements offer a temporary boost of BHB, enhancing cognitive function and potentially aiding those with mild cognitive impairment. Dr. Patrick underscores the importance of individual response and monitoring when adopting ketogenic strategies. Magnesium is a vital mineral involved in over 300 enzymatic reactions, including energy production and DNA repair. Dr. Patrick stresses that nearly half of the U.S. population is magnesium deficient, largely due to poor dietary intake of leafy greens and other magnesium-rich foods. This deficiency has insidious long-term consequences, including a 24% increased risk of pancreatic cancer for every 100 mg decrease in magnesium intake. Magnesium's role in activating DNA repair enzymes is critical for preventing mutations that lead to cancer and other age-related diseases. Moreover, magnesium deficiency is linked to higher all-cause and cancer-related mortality. Athletes may require even more magnesium due to increased losses through sweat. Supplementation and dietary improvements can easily correct deficiencies, supporting cellular repair and overall health span. Dr. Patrick highlights magnesium as a foundational nutrient often overlooked in public health discussions. Intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating are discussed as powerful tools for metabolic health and cellular repair. Dr. Patrick explains that fasting activates autophagy, a process where cells clear out damaged proteins, organelles, and other debris, which is essential for preventing age-related diseases like Alzheimer's and cardiovascular disease. Autophagy is triggered after glycogen stores are depleted, typically after 12 to 16 hours of fasting. While calorie restriction alone can improve metabolic markers, fasting offers additional benefits by activating unique biochemical pathways. Dr. Patrick recommends a fasting window of around 16 hours for autophagy activation, but emphasizes that individual goals and lifestyles should guide fasting practices. She also stresses the importance of resistance training and adequate protein intake during eating windows to preserve muscle mass, especially when fasting is combined with exercise. Dr. Patrick explores the emerging science behind red light therapy and sauna use as non-exercise methods to promote health and longevity. Red light therapy, or photobiomodulation, stimulates mitochondrial function and collagen production, improving skin aging and potentially brain health. She uses a red light mask regularly and notes its benefits for skin and recovery. Saunas, particularly traditional hot saunas, mimic moderate intensity exercise by raising core body temperature and heart rate, improving cardiovascular fitness and reducing mortality risk. Studies show that combining sauna use with exercise yields additive benefits for heart health and lipid profiles. Infrared saunas, while less hot, can still elevate core temperature if used for longer durations and have shown remarkable antidepressant effects in clinical trials. 
Dr. Patrick personally uses saunas to manage stress, enhance cognitive function, and improve sleep, underscoring heat exposure as a valuable tool in the anti-aging arsenal. The podcast addresses the pervasive issue of microplastic exposure and its potential health risks. Dr. Patrick reveals that common items like paper coffee cups and tea bags contain plastic polymers that release microplastics and endocrine disrupting chemicals such as BPA, especially when exposed to heat. These contaminants can accumulate in the body, potentially crossing the gut barrier and even the blood brain barrier. Dietary fiber, particularly soluble fermentable fiber, may help reduce microplastic absorption by encapsulating particles and speeding their transit through the gut, though human evidence is still emerging. Dr. Patrick advises minimizing exposure by avoiding plastic-lined containers and using loose-leaf tea instead of plastic tea bags. She also discusses the surprising finding that glass bottles can contain microplastics from paint on their lids, though these particles tend to be larger and less readily absorbed than those from plastic bottles. In a candid and personal discussion, Dr. Patrick reflects on her decision to have only one child and the regret she feels about not expanding her family. She emphasizes the challenges high-performing women face in balancing career ambitions with reproductive choices, noting that delaying childbearing can limit options later in life. The conversation underscores the importance of early family planning including fertility preservation techniques like egg and embryo freezing. The podcast host shares his own journey of encouraging loved ones to consider fertility options proactively, highlighting the stigma and emotional complexity surrounding these decisions. Dr. Patrick agrees wholeheartedly, advocating for greater awareness and action to preserve reproductive choices before biological decline limits them.